Hey everyone, it's Allie with Bold North Frenchies. I wanted to do a quick video today on some of the most common health problems with French Bulldogs. Now, this is not saying that if you have a French Bulldog, you're going to have any or all of these problems, but I think it's important to understand what to look for in the breed um, and to be aware of it and how you can treat it. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about just basic allergies. Um, if you've ever met a French Bulldog owner, they may have a dogs with allergies um, and that those could be either environmental mental or those could be genetic. What we typically do is we feed all of our dogs raw food. Um, so if there is an environmental allergy like the food we are feeding them, we really can eliminate a lot of those questions. Um, if your dog has um, genetic allergies, um, A, I would consider um, reconsider possibly having them part of your breeding program and passing that on to other dogs but also talking to your vet about getting uh, medication that works well called Apoquil. Um, it is a pill um, that really does combat a lot of allergies. Another thing you have to look for is problems with the anal gland or the tail pocket. Because French Bulldogs have these either tiny nubs or kind of a little wiry nub, sometimes it, that area underneath can get infected. Um, so what you can do is you can either get your dog's anal glands expressed regularly, and you can also ask your vet for medicated wipes and clean out that tail pocket area often. Another issue that Frenchies may have is an elongated soft palate, and that's where basically the tissue at the roof of the mouth is too long, so that they have that labored breathing, a lot of snorting. Um, sometimes it can be that their nares are too small, but a lot of times it is the elongated soft palate. Um, if it is extremely serious, you can have surgery done on it, but it can be managed by keeping their weight down, keeping them at a healthy weight, um, doing moderate exercise, not uh, overkill on the exercise, and of course, avoiding heat. Um, cherry eye is also another common problem with the bulldog breed, French bulldogs and English bulldogs, and that is basically a prolapse of the third eyelid. Um, so you can try first a at-home method uh, where you basically close your dog's eye and you rub, um, rub that from that inner eyelid, you rub down, you rub down. And that cherry eye, if it's minor, will typically go away. If it does not go away, it will be something that requires surgery, depending on what vet you go to, anywhere between $500 to $1,500. Just depends on what part of the country you're in. Uh, but definitely get it taken care of. I wanted to touch on DM, degenerative my my myelopathy. Um, sorry, it's a mouthful. But you'll see on a health report for French Bulldogs, DM. And this is a spinal cord issue that they test for with many breeds. However, uh, Tufts University uh, did a study most recently um, saying that DM does not exist or affect French Bulldogs. They have never seen an issue. Does not mean that French Bulldogs do not have spinal issues, which I will touch on later. Uh, but when you see DM on a health report, um, most experts now are coming out saying that DM does not af af uh, affect or exist in French Bulldogs. So do your research on that. Um, another common problem with the Bulldog breed is, uh, this is a mouthful, dias. Dichysis. <laughs> and basically what that means is an extra hairs grow out of the eyelash area. So your dogs will have really irritated eyes. Uh, first you'll try eye drops, you think they're allergies, but really it's an extra row of eyelashes. Um, I've had a couple friends that have had this issue. They've had to have their dogs brought in for a surgery where they basically freeze out that eyelash margin to give the dog relief. So just keep that in mind that that can, for the bully breeds, the French Bulldog breeds, the English Bulldogs, that can be something that uh, will affect them. Another thing is IVDD, intravertebrae uh, disc disease. Now, what that will look like is basically your Frenchie will look like they are paralyzed. They can, typically cannot move their back legs. It's really scary when it happens. Um, I'm going to give you the first line of defense that I would like you to consider. Instead of going right into this seven to $10,000 surgery for IVDD, uh, first try putting your uh, Frenchie on muscle relaxers um, and 
Uh, we also do hemp and we crate them for three weeks. So very minimal movement. We even carry them out to go to the bathroom. Don't let them walk around, which they typically can't very much but really giving them that rest to let that inflammation go down that's around their spine, which is causing that temporary paralysis. If it is uh, really bad, you can take your dog in for a CT and MRI and they will basically tell you that uh, your dog is a good candidate for surgery. Um, if you're going to breed, especially if you have two copies of IVDD, I would not use that dog as a breeding dog or if if you would like, if you're still considering using that dog with one copy of IVDD, be very transparent with your customers that you are using, whether if you have a stud or a female, that your dog carries one copy. You do not want to breed with a dog with a copy. Ideally, best to not breed a dog with a copy of IVDD. Another common health problem is called a luxating patella. And what it looks like, and it's more common in girls, it happens about two times more in girls, and it's most prevalent, you start seeing it anywhere between four to six months, where she almost looks like she's skipping a beat. It can happen with boys too, but when they're walking on a leash, they're almost like skipping a beat. And basically that kneecap is moving out of place, moving in and out out of place, and that's that luxating patella. Those ligaments around are not strong enough, okay? So um, there are four grades of luxating patella. So th grade three and four typically require surgery. Grades one and two um, can be, you can do physical therapy with your dog as well as give them on glucosamine. So make sure your dog is seen by your vet so they can determine the severity of the luxating patella and how you need to address it. The final thing I wanna talk about is heat stroke. Um, so many times I hear a Frenchie's dying, whether it be at dog shows or people taking them for runs or living in warm climates, uh, because you have to understand, you have a flat nose breed dog. It's different than a lab that has all of this area in their nose for that air to move back and forth. So make sure that you are really being cognizant of the heat that you have your French Bulldog in. Take, if you live in a really warm climate, mornings and evenings would be ideal. Make sure that you are having a cooling pad for them to lay on when they come in. Have some emergency things on hand like alcohol that you can rub on their foot pads um, and even lemon juice if they're frothing at the mouth and you think they're really in danger. Squeeze that down their throat to break up the, the foam so they can get some air in their airway. It's really scary and it really needs to be taken seriously with Frenchies. Um, heat stroke is probably the number one reason why French Bulldogs accidentally die. So I just wanted to go over some of these common issues. Now again, <laughs> hope I didn't scare anybody. This is not every Frenchie. Um, obviously you're usually not gonna have all of these at once, but these are some issues that it's good as a French Bulldog owner to be aware of and to know how to address Hopefully you guys found it helpful. Have a great day. Bye.